Hey guys, now I'm going to assume that you have actually fully installed Titanium Studio and uh, Android if you're a Windows user and iOS or and Android if you're a Mac user. Now let's get started with creating our app. Now let's go to our learn or not learn our develop tab and then over here we can see loads of samples. There's Geocoder, Kitchen Sink, Nook, RSS Reader, To Do List, Kitchen Sink, which uh, is like an example of uh, an app that you can create using Titanium with all the source code and the completed stuff and you can press import to import it or you can directly download it from the internet and we'll actually look at this later on in my uh, video series not but not now what we want to do now is actually go down to the template and this is all the templates you can use to create your new project there's default allo project don't worry about allo yet there's a default project which we will be using most of the time because it doesn't have any templates so it says without a template there's master detail single window application this is quite useful tab to application HTML base to tab to alloy okay or you can actually ignore dashboard and actually go to this app explorer and say create project if there's no uh, project you are currently working on or you can import project you download them from the internet now let's create a project over here and in our wizard, you can either go to Titanium or if there's already a list of the most used or recommended or whatever uh, projects, just go to Titanium Project and click Next. Now, initially, you'll be uh, cre uh, choosing the template just like, oops, I can't click anymore, just like from our dashboard. Now, we are going to go with the default project because it doesn't have a template. Click next and we need to actually uh, do some settings. Now, let's create a project name, I don't know, uh, project one or something. We're not going to do any coding in this video as of yet because we are going to be, this is basically uh, mostly about uh, how to get around with Titanium Studio. Now your project name is going to be project one for this or you can just say sample or anything and uh, initially when you installed your titanium studio you chose your default uh, titanium studio workspace uh, location and you can just click default location or not and you can actually browse for your custom location let's, let's cancel and I'm just going to use my default location uh, now the project settings app ID is just like a new URL but it's backwards it's basically com dot your website name dot and then project name okay so in this case because I don't really have a website just say com dot example or test and then my project name is sample like so and this company or personal URL because again we don't I don't have one and I'm going to assume that most of you don't either just say example.com because it doesn't really matter at the moment now the titanium SDK version my current one is 3.0.2 which I just updated yesterday or so because I haven't been I've been lazy with updating and that's the uh, latest one now deployment targets I don't really I'm not interested in uh, using mobile webs Blackberry is still currently in alpha I think beta at the moment and I don't really have the SDK either or don't have no idea how you could use Blackberry so that's uh, disabled and I'm not going to be a targeting iPad app as of yet because uh, the screen size and a couple setting is going to be completely different to iPhone and Android so I'm going to be mostly focusing on iPhone and Android now the cloud setting is basically if you want to enable cloud in your app or not you can just uh, the default is on clicked or ticked and you can either turn it off or turn it on it doesn't really matter you can change it once you've created your projects and later on or even right before you uh, decide to distribute it therefore I'm just going to keep it as on because it doesn't really matter now let's create finish and it's going to be it's going to create your new folder in your destination or location and now 
as you can see on the left in the app explorer we have created our new app or well, technically the structure of a new app and we have resources we have loads of text files and license documents and we have some other stuff now what comes up first is this tight app editor which is basically all the configurations you can change your deployment targets you can change your cloud settings you can change your uh, Titanium SDK version you, that's all basically when you are actually publishing your app so you have no need to worry about it as of yet because there's no much copyright no description needed and so on you can change publisher from your name to I don't know a company's name if you're making it for a company and this is because I've this is basically modules which is like add-ons or plugins or mods if you play Minecraft and Skyrim and stuff. So let's just delete tieup.editor, which you can actually uh, come back to it if you double if you click over here. Now inside this resources, what you first see or what comes up next to the dashboard is this app.js. Now this is like your index.html in your website. This is like the first thing that loads when your a completed app loads when someone clicks on it on their iPhone or their iPad or their Android or whatever and inside this resources we are going to have most or if not all of the I think all of the uh, programming codes the JS files or the whatever files and all the uh, images like this PNG default PNG files you're given and inside this Android and iPhone because basically the icon size or I don't know some screen uh, image size are different inside this Android and iPhone you actually put in your uh, what do you call it default uh, images for some uh, default images for some images for your app now uh, let's not do anything with this app.js as of yet because uh, when you create this new uh, project you are already given with some uh, basic codes now let's go to here which is run or you can actually go on to your file run which you might not be able to see because of my uh, resolution screen resolution and my YouTube so I have to crop this top half but basically there's the run or you can go run and there's the Android emulator and the Android, uh, iPhone simulator let's try clicking the iPhone simulator first now it says over here launching and it's gonna in the console it's gonna give you all those uh, lines of information or code or copying common JS modules or whatever which is difficult to understand you'll get used to all these and you'll start reading at errors if you uh, bump into any errors when in the, your process of creating your app once you're uh, good with it so uh, iPhone simulator and Android simulator actually takes time however iPhone simulator doesn't take too much time compared to uh, running the Android emulator so I think I'll keep talking oh there we go uh, you have I think this is iPhone 3s the looks because iPhone 4 has this like rectangle ish and iPhone 5 is like close to that isn't it I think this is iPhone 3 or 3s and there we go we have this app f from uh, the given or the provided already default code basically it's a uh, tab we have two tabs we have tab one and inside that we have a title tab one and we have this like uh, text I am window one and we have another tab over here with a default icon actually these icons are actually these uh, icons provided in these uh, what do you call it uh, inside the resources folder let's go back to the simulator and you can specify with what kind of uh, icon images you want and over here we have I am window 2 and the titles tab 2 so you'll learn how to write all these uh, new tab new window new view and all those stuff now let's go back and go over here or you can go somewhere over here to press run 
and there we go I think you'll see from here you won't see the extra run button but you can uh, run and then there's all those uh, settings but the easiest is just I always just go over here and say Android emulator now the Android emulator is going to start loading but it's going to take it took me about a minute and a half nearly two minutes for me to actually do the Android emulator when I started testing out it actually loads this screen quite early however this is going to take ages so I'm going to magically pause the time and then I'll show you the loaded emulator right there we have it it actually took me about two three minutes to load this Android emulator which takes ages now uh, just like the iPhone simulator which actually I could put it side by side for comparison it's mostly the same it's a two tabbed uh, app with a first tab with title tab one just like here except for the fact that this is equal to this and there's not going to be any titles in this Android version that's just the difference between the default uh, layout and over here we have I am window 1 which just like the iPhone and if I go to my tab 2 we have I am window 2 uh, by default uh, iPhones have their tabs tabs just yeah tabs at the bottom and Androids have them at the top these simulators and emulators are actually really cool they've got this charging battery thing and I uh, apparently I even got internet and a signal on both interesting yeah now I'm just going to close it and just close it from over here that's the easiest there we go uh, emulator thing project build blah 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 and that's the end so uh, that that will be it for my video because I think it's oh yeah I cut it so it's I think it's going to be about 12 minutes long enough uh, in my next video we are going to be actually looking at uh, deleting all these default ones and we'll be creating our first app which is going to be hello world or hello app or something like that so look forward to that uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later